Welcome to Tomorrow's World Answers, where we answer your questions straight from the Bible. Shortly before taking his last breath, Jesus made a startling promise to a criminal who was being crucified next to him. What did Jesus promise in Luke 23, verses 43? We have the benefit of reading the Bible in our own language, with divisions between chapters and verses and filled with punctuation to help us understand. You may not realize that translators of the Bible had to decide where and how to insert punctuation, as no punctuation or even spaces between words and sentences were placed in the original Greek texts. All things considered, they did a tremendous job. But let's read Luke 23, 43 and notice the power of a misplaced comma. And Jesus said to him, Assuredly, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. This looks like he is indicating that both he and this criminal would be in paradise later that very day, after they both succumbed to death on the stake. But let's read it again with the comma in a slightly different position. Assuredly, I say to you today, you will be with me in paradise. One simple change, and the word today refers to the time of the promise, not of the fulfillment of that promise. How do we know which comma location is accurate? Let's look to other scriptures for interpretation. The Gospel according to John records an exchange between Jesus and Mary Magdalene after Christ's resurrection. John 20 and verse 17. Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to my Father. But go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, and to my God and your God. If the promise made to the criminal was fulfilled on the day of his death, then he would not have told Mary, I have not yet ascended to my Father. The only reasonable solution is that the word today does not refer to the time frame for the fulfillment of that promise. The comma is in the wrong spot. This passage is often misused to support a non-biblical doctrine that heaven is the reward of the saints. Let's look at one more scripture from John that is crystal clear. John 3 and verse 13. No one has ascended into heaven but he who came down from heaven that is, the Son of Man who is in heaven. What could be more clear? Jesus did not promise the criminal that he, the criminal, would go to heaven upon his death. To submit a question for the show, email us at twanswers at tomorrowsworld.org. Be sure to watch us online at twcanada.org or by searching Tomorrow's World Answers on YouTube.